welcome back to my channel it's your girl coco styles and in today's video we're going to be talking about leveling up yes leveling up your life mentally physically and socially i have 15 tips for you guys that you guys can actually incorporate into your lives today and probably two bonus tips so i'm just going to jump right into the video and don't waste any time i do have a bonus tip for you at the end that's really really important so if you stay tuned to the end you'll get that juice from this whole level up tip um, tips that I have so the first thing I'm gonna say is I am like I said I am looking at my laptop because I did jot some things on that I did not want to forget to tell you guys so my first tip is get rid of any negative thoughts that you have in your mind about yourself okay some of us may be at a certain age and we kind of feel like we kind of missed the buck on either going to school or getting a great job I don't know whatever it is don't let that hold you back okay some of us grew up in single family homes you know, it may feel like, you know, why wasn't my mom or either my dad wasn't there. Don't let it, don't let it hold you back. I am a firm believer of things that happen to you happen to you for a reason. It is to shape you to who you are today. So anything in the past that happened, let it go. Yesterday was the past. Whatever happened yesterday, let it go. The only way for you to move forward and be the best version of you is to let things go in the past. You know, sometimes we hold on to things, we bury it from years ago, and we kind of forget about it, but we also need to address those too before we actually become the, the best version of ourselves. So that's my tip number one. Get rid of any negative thoughts that you have about yourself in your mind. Tip number two, reading. I love to read. Any book that I feel like that will help me, that's self-help books, it can be manifestation books, it can just be changing your mind, it can be books about God, whatever. Reading, 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 reading will help you clear your mind. It will give you a sense of peace to me. It'll educate you, you know, even etiquette books, pick those up too. Like sometimes we think that we're doing something properly, like holding a wine glass, <laughs> you know, pick up an etiquette book. If you want to level up, thoroughly do things like that that's gonna you know make you become a better version of yourself so that's tip number two reading 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 self-help books they will really help you um and i have a couple that i can actually recommend and i'm gonna put them in the description box because i love these books um i sometimes read them more than once too which is so crazy but i am gonna link those in the bottom for you guys to take a look at and purchase those so tip number three Therapy, <sighs> therapy, therapy, therapy. A lot of people do not like to go to see a therapist. I don't know why, but I feel like, you know, a lot of people go to church and stuff like that, but sometimes that doesn't really always help you. I don't know, talking to a physical person could actually help you heal from things that happened to you as a child. Again, a lot of us grew up in single family homes and you may not have been able to deal with what happened to you as a child or just dealing with the fact that you either watched your mom be a single mom or your dad be a single dad and talking to somebody can actually heal some of those past hurts and stuff so number three is going to see a therapist and getting through those problems and healing healing yourself within because you can look good on the outside but if you're not good within none of this is going to even matter so that's tip number three tip number four would be meditate okay meditate go to church pray journal all those things all those things are so positive for yourself at the end of the night i try my best to write five things that i am grateful for okay i don't care what it is i'm grateful for waking up today i'm grateful that i was able to walk down the stairs today i'm grateful that i was able to turn on my computer and work my job i'm grateful for the sun today i'm grateful that i have food just be grateful for the things that you have because, some, listen, there are so many people out there that do not have anything. Be grateful for what you have. Gratitude is everything. Okay, so that's step number four. You know, you want to, like I said, you want to center yourself and be, just be at peace. You want to just be at peace. So tip number five, we're going to go into your body, your body, your body, your body. Okay. So I'm going to tell you again that I am a vegan. So my eating habits are very extreme. And the reason why my eating habits are like this, I told you guys before, breast cancer, they say run in my family. 
So to me, I only get one body. Let me take care of it the best that I can. And if that means taking some stuff out of my diet, I'll do that. I want to live, okay? So I'm not saying become a vegan like your girl, but what I am saying is just kind of eat things in moderation. Be mindful of the sugars that you're eating. Be mindful of the salt that you're intaking. Be mindful of how much alcohol you drink. If you smoke, be mindful of that. You know, all these things can just affect your body just all together, you know, and we're not getting any younger. So the more you take care of the body that you've been given, I'm sure the Lord will bless you, honey. He will bless you. So tip number six is exercise. Now, I'm not going to lie, guys. I do not go to the gym every day. Now, ever since Corona has been out here in these streets, I have been just like kind of, I haven't been at the gym. However, I have been doing Pilates and it's not the most strenuous um, exercise, but it's something to do. I go to the park sometimes and I walk. Um, I am not really a big nature girl. So when I see bugs and rabbits and stuff running loose, it's <laughs> a bit much for me. However, walking, you know, around the neighborhood and stuff like that, it'll make you feel a little bit better that you did something for that day. Kind of getting out of the rut of your normal every day, just going to work and just coming home and stuff. So working out is also another key in your level up journey. So that is tip number six. Tip number seven is your overall health. Stay up to date on your, for women, your GYN visits, your dentist visits, and your PCP visits, okay? And if you're in your 40s, make sure you're getting your mammograms, okay? I know it's scary to go. You know, nobody wants to go. It's very scary to go. They're smashing your breasts and stuff. Nobody want to deal with that. But it's important. It's important for you guys to take care of yourself and know what's going on with your body. It's nothing worse than not knowing what's going on with your body. I know a lot of people that do not go to the doctor. And I just, for the life of me, I don't know why, but I, I, I truly believe that it's a fear of, you know, finding something out that you may not want to find out, you know, but you will be at ease once you know your status, what's going on with your health, Trust me, you will be at ease. So to me, that's a part of leveling up. Staying on top of your health is numero uno, okay? Because if you're not healthy, guess what? You ain't gonna make it to your next, the next step of your level up journey, okay, guys? So tip number, let me see, seven. That's so tip number eight, resting. Resting, 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 okay? All right, guys, a lot of us have, day jobs. A lot of us do YouTube as a full-time job. Okay. And I know you guys have to create content and stuff every single day to make sure that, you know, you're, you're getting your stuff out there. But when your body is telling you to rest, please rest. You don't want to faint out there in these streets. You don't want to faint of being dehydrated. You don't want your body to conk out on you. You know, you want to make sure you're good. You don't want to take like, what do you call those things? Like what is that thing that people take that they put, they mix it with drinks, um, Red Bull. You don't want to take that stuff. I, I feel like that stuff make your heart start racing and stuff. But anyway, just like, just rest, rest your body. I know you people have businesses that they're trying to do and stuff like that, but I do feel like resting your body when it calls for it is a must. You don't want to wake up and be in all tired, like an all tired in the face and stuff like that. So resting your body is a number one key to me also when it comes to leveling up, because if you don't feel good, you know, that, that plays a, a major role in it. You're going to walk around looking sluggish and stuff. So resting is very, very important. So tip number, I think that's number eight. I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to link, I'm going to put everything there. Um, your image. Okay. So image is fun. You can dress nice. You can do your hair. You can do your makeup and stuff like that. However, I will not tell you to go out there and buy all designer bags or designer clothes. I will not say that, but I will say this, present yourself like you want to be addressed. Okay. So don't go outside with a headscarf. Don't go outside with slippers on. Don't go outside with pajamas on. Those things need to stay in your house. Okay. I'm not saying you need to be dolled up every single day, but be presentable, look clean, iron your clothes, all these little small things that you can incorporate today, do it. You know, for the young ones, you know, when you start changing, your friends may think there's something wrong with you. 
because you're not dressing like them anymore. And that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Be your own person. So your image is key. And I want to actually touch on that a little bit further. So a lot of us have social media and have regular jobs out here. So you have to be mindful of what you're putting out there into the internet world. Because once it's out there, it's gone forever. Okay. There are companies that do Google you to see what you're like online and they will not hire you because of that. I've seen it happen. So just be mindful of what you're putting out there and stuff like that. Don't be, don't smoke in videos. Don't just don't do certain things that you don't want your employer to have a problem with. Okay. So the next tip is we're going to talk about socially. Now I consider myself an introvert. I do. <laughs> I do. However, when I do get to talk to a person, I'm just as a ball of fun. I crack jokes all day. You know, I try not to take things too, too seriously, you know? So if you have friends that you grew up with and you find that you are trying to change certain things, but you feel like you keep getting pulled back to that same behavior, sometimes it's just trying, it's time to shift from those friends, okay? Also, those same friends may not be happy for you changing. They may start saying stuff like I said, why are you dressing like that? Why are you reading those type of books? The naysayers, you have to let them go. And it's okay. Even though you knew them since you was two years old, honey, it's fine. Let them go. You, you will find new people in your life that will fit where you're trying to go. So sometimes let, let them go. Let go of jealous, jealous friends. Let go of friends who always compare themselves to you. Like those are not healthy traits to have in your circle when you're trying to level up your life. Okay. So tip number, I think that's nine. I think that's nine. Um, surround yourself with like-minded people. So again, if you find yourself not connecting with friends that you had since you were a child, it's just time to just find other people that you can kind of grow with, okay? Or even learn from. So if that means just placing yourself in different environments, then that's just what you have to do. So place yourself with like-minded people. The next tip is, can kind of actually go with the last one, frequent new places, okay? So whatever city that you live in, maybe you want to travel to another state or out of the country, you know, place yourself in new environments and learn new things different cultures and stuff. I'm from New York City, so I am used to multiple cultures being around. So when I moved to my new state, you know, I made sure that I was around a mix of people because that's what I'm used to. I can't just be around one race of people. It's just not going to work for me. I need to be around a mix of people. I need to hear Spanish music. I need to hear Indian music. I need to hear reggae. I need to hear all of this stuff. Okay. So you know, even when you're traveling, when you travel to other countries and stuff like that, you end up, you learn about different cultures. It's a beautiful thing, honestly, you know, on how people live. And it also, it also makes you feel a lot, if it makes you feel really, really grateful for what you have in your country, because some of these countries are very, very poor. And it'll just make you think about what you have as an individual and be grateful for what you have. All right. So, and then the, the num tip number, I think that's number nine. That's not number nine. That's number 14. Number 14, <laughs> making new friends. So in your travels, with you being in new environments and frequenting new places and stuff, you're going to meet new people, okay, of different races, different cultures and stuff like that. Be open to it. Always be open to meeting new people. I will tell you, like I said, working in New York City, I've always had all types of friends from Indian to Asian. I don't care who it was. Those are my, those are my, my peoples. Okay. And it's just what it was. I didn't care what skin color they was. I didn't care what their background was. Those are my friends at work, you know, going to lunch with them, stuff like that. So meet new friends, you know, people who are again, further in life than you, because you can learn from them. Okay. You don't want to always be the smartest person in the room all the time because I kind of feel like it stunts your growth. So placing yourself around people who are above you, that'll definitely help you. And actually, this is tip number 15, a juicy tip, okay? Dating. Level up in your dating life, okay? I will say this. 
Sometimes you have to take a break from dating. If you find yourself keep meeting the same type of men all the time, okay, different body, same type of man, you're doing something wrong, okay? So with that, I would say, take a break from it. Reevaluate what are you doing wrong or what, what aren't you doing right, you know, and just try new things. Date other, date other races of men. You know, you never know who you're gonna end up with. I would never say stick to your own kind. You just never know who you are going to end up with, who's gonna make you happy, who's gonna sweep you off your feet. So level up your dating life. Date men who are at minimum on your level, okay? At minimum. Because if you don't, you're gonna feel like you're carrying the relationship. You're gonna feel like, it's almost like dating a beta male. Like you don't, you don't want that. You want a masculine man. You want a man who is a provider and a protector. That is when he is thriving his best. That way you can really rest in your femininity. So again, that was tip number 15. Your dating life, level up your dating life also. That's also a part of this whole level up journey. And for those of you guys who stayed to the end, and my final, final, final tip is to drum roll. But I'm but I'm but I'm but I'm but I'm most importantly, keep your level up to yourself. Okay, I made the mistake of trying to you know, bring some friends along with me and it just didn't work out. I just kind of felt like I was being kind of pushy with them, just stuff that I was learning. And I'm just like, you know, try this, try this. And it just didn't go too well, you know, so I just kind of fell back on that. So to me, keep it to yourself, especially if you have not reached your goals and where you're trying to be, keep it to yourself. They'll see you at the top. Okay. So that's my final tip, guys. If you guys stayed to the end of this video, let me know if you did. Comment in the comment box. We see you, Coco, and I thank you for joining me today, and I see you in the next one. Bye.